I'd like to show you how a simple glucose meter can be used to reverse, get rid of, type 2 diabetes, or at the very least, minimize your need for insulin and medications and keep your blood sugars perfect. You're going to need a glucose meter. So they're very inexpensive. You can go to the pharmacy. You can go to the department store. They have them for about $20 to $40. You'll need some test strips that go along with that device. Your doctor will often give you a device. Here's a device called the Precision Extra. I like this device. It's called the Dario. This is the actual glucose meter that plugs into your smartphone. It's very easy to use and very portable, as you can see. Uh, it'll take just a few minutes to get acquainted with your device, read the instructions. You want two blood sugars around any meal in question. A blood sugar just prior to the meal, and then a blood sugar 30 to 60 minutes after the start of the meal. Your doctor may have told you check a blood sugar two hours later, but that's for the purposes of regulating medication. That's not what we're talking about here, right? We're trying to use the blood sugar device to not manage medications. We're trying to use blood sugars to get rid of medications and get rid of high blood sugars. So a blood sugar just prior to the meal, and then 60, uh, sorry, 30 to 60 minutes after the start of the meal. What you're looking for is you want no change in blood sugar, okay? You don't want this. And the peak in blood sugar after food tends to occur about 30 to 60 minutes after you start eating. So you want no change in blood sugar. I call it the no change rule to reverse type 2 diabetes. Let's say your blood sugar is 90 prior to the meal and you eat something, it should be no higher than 90, or at least no higher than 100. You're still safe there. What if you start with a diabetic starting blood sugar of 140, and you eat your meal, and it goes to 190 or 300? You ate something you shouldn't have, look back at your meal, it's going to be a carbohydrate or a sugar, and next time, cut it out, eliminate that food, or cut back sharply on the portion size. What if you start at 140, and the after meal is 140 or 135. You're good. And the more you do that, the more you follow and adhere that no change rule, the more your fasting blood sugar drops and the after meal blood sugar drops with it over time. Now, if you are on insulin or oral diabetes medications, especially glipizide, glyburide, or glimepiride, you can have low blood sugars. And we do not want any low blood, absolutely no blood sugars below 100, at least at the start. So you're going to have to work with a healthcare provider who understands what you're trying to do. Most do not, unfortunately. But you really want to take the effort to not have low blood sugars. Low blood sugars can be acutely dangerous. High blood sugars, provided that over 200 milligrams or so, are okay. In fact, I, I allow my patients to have higher blood sugars because it gives a margin of safety in case blood sugar is dropping quickly. So follow this no change rule and you'll watch your fasting glucose over time drop, the after bl meal blood sugar drop over time, your A1C drop over time. And you know what? You'll lose weight also, sometimes dramatically. So be aware that as you get thinner and less diabetic, you need less insulin and medication for diabetes. So be sure you you have the confidence to be able to reduce your medication with the help of a of a savvy healthcare provider, or at least find one who can help you do this. And you can enjoy magnificent success in getting rid of, or at least minimizing, type 2 diabetes.